Corrupted profiles. Most of you know that this is going to be a huge pain in the behind. But let's go ahead and recreate a Windows profile so I can show you how this is done. Hello friends, this is Nick from NOB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to recreate a Windows profile when for some reason it's got corrupted. And what can happen is you can uh, come into the office in the morning as a normal working day uh, like an IT administrator and of course it's a calm beautiful um, morning in the end of the summer beginning of the autumn and you have a, a great cup of coffee a warm coffee and uh, you straight away receive a call from uh, one of your users saying that uh, she is not able to log into her computer or when she logs into her computer it's uh, all her documents are missing or it's saying that uh, she has been logged with a temporary account well this can happen and of course uh, for the end user this is a, a stressful situation to be for example um, in this case I'm going to show you uh, with my user who is the uh, team leader for the finance department which are uh, making the um, salaries at the end of the month and um, when she tried to log in in the morning it uh, it just was not able to load her profile correctly. So um, I'm currently logged into her computer, you can see right here. And if I go ahead and open a Windows Explorer and go to this PC, open the local disk C, open users, I'll be able to see her folder right here, uh, J Thompson, which is Jesse Thompson. So uh, I'm going to open this uh, folder. It's going to say that I don't have any permissions, but I'm logged in with my domain administrator account, which will provide me with enough permissions for me to um, open the folder and uh, take ownership if needed. So straight away after I open the folder, I will see all the um, uh, containers, all the f folders that uh, she has on her profile. And she told me that on the desktop, there is a work folder that contains important information that she would need. So if I open this, I will see that there are a lot of text documents currently created. And this is interesting, actually. This is the IT department salaries. Let me just open that because I'm interested. Okay, uh, I guess I'm not going to receive uh, a salary for the, for the month. So um, I wonder, should I recreate the profile? Well, I'm, I'm already into it, so um, let's do it. So what I'll need to do first is... Um, Note that this is an important step. If the user tried to log in with the profile, um, for example, it can log the files within that. And uh, in most cases, uh, when you try to rename this folder for the user, it will say that uh, it's currently locked. So a quick way to fix this is just to restart the computer, log in straight away with your account, your domain admin account, and you will be able to rename this. So I'm going to rename this to alt and I'm going to continue. And after this is renamed to alt, it won't be able to load her profile uh, anymore. Not that uh, it's working at the moment, but uh, it, it won't work completely. But I will have this uh, saved. So after I recreate the profile, I'll be able to copy over all the information needed. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, a registry. So the way you can do this is just right click on the start menu. Of course, you can search um, in the window search. It will show up once again. But if you open run and type in rec edit, it will open the registry. It will ask to provide with uh, permissions. And from here, you need to open local machine and then software. Then go to Microsoft, scroll down and find the folder named Windows NT. Expand that as well. Current version. And if you scroll down, you should be able to find the folder named Profile List. 
If you expand this folder, you will see that I have few security identifiers for the accounts that are currently uh, used on this computer. So you can see uh, it's you won't be able to find the username in by the security identifier, but if you click on the folder, you will see a profile image path, and in there you will see what is the account. So if I go through the accounts, you can see that I have a local account for Nick, I have a domain account for Nick, and the last security identifier is my user, which is Jay Thompson, and it's currently uh, looking for her profile within the C users. J Thompson, J. Thompson. And if you remember correctly, I have renamed this folder to dot alt. So this key will prevent me to recreate the profile successfully if I don't remove it. But first what I usually do is I export the key just in case. Okay. And after the profile is successfully exported into my desktop, I will go ahead and just delete this key completely. And uh, please be really careful when browsing through the registry because if you delete something that is not supposed to be deleted, that can lead into uh, corruption on the operating system and you will have to reinstall. So I'm going to delete it. And now, after I remove the key from the registry, the only thing I need to do is restart the computer and then try to log in with uh, Jesse Thompson's account once again. So I'm going to initiate a restart. After the computer is up and running once again, I'm going to go ahead and log in with another user. And I'm going to specify Jesse's account. Oh. Okay, it's currently loading her profile. And it, as soon as it's not able to find the profile, uh, it's going to start creating a new one. And this is the thing you want to see when you recreate the profile. Uh, it's going to take some time to uh, recreate everything, all the folders. Uh, but after this is done, uh, the next step that I need to do is I need to just once again log in with my domain admin account and copy over the information from her old profile. Uh, if you remember, we renamed her old profile to .old. So let's do this. I'm going to log out and log in with uh, my domain admin account. Now that I'm once again logged in with Nick, let's go ahead and just open a Windows Explorer once again and go to this PC, C drive, users, and you can see that I have a brand new account created for Jesse Thompson and I have the old one which I've copied over and saved. So the thing that you need to do, most of the people just go ahead and uh, take everything from here and paste it to the other account. But what I prefer to do is because I don't want uh, any other information to be copied over from the corrupted folder, uh, and most of you know that there are hidden files that can be copied over that can mess up the new, the new profile as well. So what I tend to do is I just go ahead and uh, browse and check the information that I need to copy over and just uh, copy that directly to the location that it was before. So on the desktop I'm going to paste her work folder once again with the document saying that uh, my salary, I'm not going to receive any salary, but I'm going to um, change this and say um, Nick is the best performer. Okay, so I think this looks better and of course if you have any, any important documents for your users I don't recommend changing anything, especially to the finance department, but in this case I'm going to uh, play a trick on Jesse and see how she will react to this. So I'm once again going to log out with my account and I'm going to log in with Jesse's account once again.
Okay, now that we've copied over everything, I'm going to once again log in with uh, Jesse Thompson's user account. Okay, um, it's still saying that I'm currently connected, but I want to uh, disconnect Nick. I guess it's still taking some time to log me off from the profile, but let's just disconnect the user and see what will happen. Okay, I've successfully logged on with uh, Jesse's profile. And if I check once again, I will see that I have the working, uh, the work folder currently on my desktop. And if I open the IT department salary, and here you see the change that I've made. So this is the tutorial of how you can recreate a corrupt profile. And this is uh, really um, helpful for people who are working with a lot of end users. And things, of course, can go wrong with end user machines. And most of the times, if um, the, the end user is not able to use uh, the computer at all, it's always a good idea to just try and for a few minutes recreate the profile and see if that would help. So if you like the video, you can always subscribe to NLB Solutions. I will be releasing some um, important videos that can help you with your day-to-day -day tasks as an IT administrator. And of course, I will be releasing videos that can help end users as well to fix problems with their computers. So once again, this was Nick from NLB Solutions. Thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.